Yo, peoples, Kyushu92 here, and welcome back to yet another iteration of Kyushu Views Anime. Onwards to the next episode of One Piece, so let's get it started! Firstly, let me start off by saying that I apologize to every single one of you. Because I incorrectly named the last episode I did a reaction to, episode 1031. That was not 1031. It was episode SP4, which dealt with, like, you know, Uta and Shanks. So this is the official episode 1031. To give a little bit of a recap, we had Big Mom create herself a brand new homie in retaliation of Zeus being stolen. Well, Zeus being in prison. We saw her releasing a brand new attack to get her revenge of both killer and kid with full fury. And because of that attack, Zeus was released from the metal box that kid had made earlier. Not to mention, we had Luffy completely body Kaido, showcasing that Luffy knows how to use Conqueror's Hockey with his attacks as well. In a beautiful bout between the two. And Kaido's still laying there, not only with the scar left by Zoro with Dead Man's game, but also with that feeling of, hey, I just got punched in the face by someone who can do the same thing I can do. Can I just talk about how overpowered and amazing the Ope Ope fruit is? Like the ability to manipulate space. Nami screams, a deadly death race. Just the ability to move and manipulate and do what uh, whatever you want inside of that space is just amazing. And then we had this one moment where Luffy was channeling his conquerors within his attacks. And in a beautiful strings of animation. Beautiful, like, length of animation. We saw Luffy land an actual hit on Kaido. The punch heard around the world. Seeing Kaido actually get hit and launch into the air. With We Are playing in the background. It was a... Very, very beautiful moment. And you know it's a serious moment where Luffy is saying like, Huh, I got the hang of this. Alright, I got it. You guys go ahead and head downstairs now. Ooh. Look at the aura on him. The clash of conquerors continues. Just the whole concept of hockey being so strong, you can make it so that you don't have to touch anyone to hit him. That's some Sage Arts level jutsu right there. <laughs> and we still got Kanjiro out there still gunning for Momonosuke. And then you got Yamato tossing something upstairs. Is that a sewing kit? That looks like a sewing kit. And we still got page one. As we're dealing with Nami and Usopp dealing with him. I find it funny how they're going for the cheap shot areas. And I love how they're just bonking on him. They're like, get up! Get up! Also, how long has Komachio been running? The dude's starting to sweat a little bit. How long have you been running? You gotta admire her strength and courage for her to be so young. See, I know they're having this heartfelt conversation right now. And I know they're trying to comfort Tama, but did they kind of forget the dinosaur man hanging on to the giant lion dog they're riding on right now? Am I the only one? See? He's still there, remember? See, even though they tend to be a bit cowardly when they're face-to-face -face with a much stronger opponent, they can have the courageous moments if they, if they choose to. Yo, look at Usopp's face! That's the most serious I've seen him in a very long time! <laughs> I feel like he's more insulted that Usopp's putting, flyer, putting flowers all over his body. Wait, fireworks flowers? Fireworks flowers. It has been an exceedingly long amount of time when it comes to seeing all these things happen. And now we got exploding pine cones. Can you imagine the amount of insurance people right now would need if exploding pine cones existed? Insurance would not cover exploding pine cones on the property. You know how many pine cones fall in your average North American home? Especially if it's a very rural area? Well, suburban area? See, this is what happens when a person gets a little bit too cocky without see making sure that the person's body first. 
<laughs> I don't think Usopp realizes that dinosaur ancient Zoan users are a lot tougher and stronger than your average Zoan. Things seem like they're going too easily. N yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. I just had to. I just had to speak. I had to speak. I just had to open my big fat mouth, and I still remember that punch. I still remember that punch she body kid with. The fact that he was able to get up from that at all kind of speaks on how much of a unit he is. And this is horrible timing. This is such horrible timing for Nami and Usopp to run into her. This is the worst possible timing. Because let's not forget, she had an issue with Nami taking Zeus. Yo! Is this a new transition? These are new transitions! Yo, these are new transitions! Yo, and this and this isn't using like the Wano version of the theme. It's using the old tra trumpet trumpet uh theme for it. How long has that been since we heard it that way? You know what? I'm starting to think that it probably popped up during the special episodes. That theme probably popped up during the special episodes. I just forgot. I know someone will correct me. Look what? Look at Big Mom. Look at her like like a doting mom. Big Big Mom saying sorry? Look at her. <laughs> look at look at Prometheus. He's all like And she enters into like a mother mode when when this kid's ten and under. Hmm. See, here's the thing about Tama. She doesn't know Big Mom like the straw has to. Well, Nami and Usopp are completely terrified of her. All Tama sees is just Olin, the big giant lady that ate some Oshiruko. But now I think she's about to find out about what happened to Okobore Town. Yee. You might not want to tell her that. I mean, you can tell her that, but she's probably not going to be happy. This is the same place that Hold'em got to, trying to find out who stole all the food. Thinking it was mountain bandits. Then you got Otsuru standing out against standing up against everyone else. Well, standing out amongst everyone else. Sorry, I had to find the words. Is that a kid? Is is that is Holdem holding like a little child by the hair? This is back when Chopper and Momonosuke and Kiku were there with Tama that whole time with it in order to see Big Mom before they headed to Udon. How long ago has that been? Oh, wow! That's some kind of foreboding dark imagery seeing uh, Otsuru on fire like that with her hair blowing in the wind. But Big Mom is angry. Oh, she's upset. She is... Oh, she's angry. She's angry. Look at her! Look at her! And now we got page one. Dude, this is, now's not the time. Now is not the time. Page one, you don't want to be here right now. Page one, page one, this is not a good environment to be in. I don't know. You, you, you might want to rethink, you, you might want to rethink your steps right now. You do not want to go in that direction, man. That's not a good place to be. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, conquerors! Yo! Ooh! Yo, Big Mom is using conquerors on page one! Ooh! Ah! Oh! So. If you ever look up the definition of bodied, you will see this picture of page one embedded in the ground. And Ulti saw it. Ulti saw it. You see, yo. We all know how Ulti feels about this. Listen to this music. Yo, she's getting mad too. On the next episode of One Piece, the dawn of the land of Wano, the all-out battle heats up. Oh, there's so much anger here. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, One Piece, we are back in Wano, ladies and gentlemen. We see Luffy fighting against Kaido with his conquerors. We see Law taking himself, Zoro, and Zeus down into the castle. Big Mom is still searching for Kid, comes across Nami and Usopp as they're running from page one, socializes with Tama, finds out about Okobori Town, gets furious and when page one comes to try and take all three of the aforementioned tsunami usopp and tama down big mom bodies him just ooh, just takes one big and we all know her to be monstrously strong takes one fist and just decides to turn him into a plant and just embeds him in the embeds him in the floor just embeds him in the floor and Ulti sees the whole thing. And we know how Ulti is when it comes to page one. No one can disrespect him. No one can touch him but her. Seeing Big Mom body him. And she has no respect of person either. And you hear this staticky sound going off in her ears. Like she's, like she's seeing red. And she, her, she's starting to just black out. As she's staring at Big Mom. Almost like that one scene from uh, The Boys where Homelander's staring at the staring at the movie screen and all you hear is just like this like this high pitched sound go as if he's drowning out everything. Oh, it's so good to be back in one piece again. Yes. It's so good to be back in one piece. I enjoyed this episode. I'm glad to be back in Wano. And like I said, I probably forgot if they brought back the trumpet for the transitions, but the transition scenes themselves have changed. Uh, so that's cool. It's, it no longer has that Wano touch to the music. It's now the classic trumpet music we've seen in the past. So I'm glad to see that come back, even though I'm pretty sure that was in the Ulti Shanks episodes previously. I forgot, like I said. But you guys let me know what you thought of this episode as a whole. All I can say at the end of the day is... Hope y'all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw here today, I am I know I'm looking at the wrong spot. I'm supposed to be looking right here. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw here today, then like, subscribe, and maybe even consider becoming a member. I kind of spit a little bit. I don't know why I'm losing such self-control at 1056 at night. Then like, subscribe, and maybe even consider becoming a member because I am always looking forward to entertaining you. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples.